I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. You know who said that? That was Wimpy. Wimpy was uh, Popeye's friend, a uh, cartoon character created in the 1930s by Elsie Slagar. It was really the first time that people in America uh, heard about the hamburger. It had been around for about 30, 40 years, but it was Wimpy who really popularized it. Believe it or not, though, the history of the hamburger goes back to Genghis Khan and the Mongol hordes. They rode on horseback, of course, and uh, couldn't really take much time off to, to rest and to eat. And they would take little slivers of meat and put it under the saddle as they rode. And the meat would be kind of squashed and the friction would, would cook it, sort of a primitive version of steak tartare. And they introduced this to the Russians. And then when the Russians began to trade with Germany, many of the ships put in in Hamburg in Germany. And uh, the Germans learned that the Russians had a taste for this minced meat. So they created what uh, was known as the Hamburg steak. And when uh, they came to America, when German immigrants came to America, they introduced the Hamburg steak here as well. But it was in 1904 at the St. Louis World's Fair that uh, Fletcher Davis had an idea. He was running a stand where he was uh, preparing minced meat, sort of like what we would today know as hamburger meat, but it was being served on plates. But one of his customers said that the fare was too interesting to sit down and eat. He wanted to walk around. So Davis had the idea of taking two pieces of bread, putting the meat in between them, and thus the hamburger was born. Well, since that time, we've had a lot of, of stories about hamburgers, concerns about bacterial contamination, and indeed the hamburger should be cooked thoroughly, internal temperature of about 70 degrees uh, Celsius. It is a sort of an environmental disaster, eating red meat. That's, that's true, because raising cows is not an environmentally friendly business. Furthermore, they belch out a lot of methane, which is a greenhouse gas. How do we get around that? Well, maybe kangaroo meat, because kangaroos, amazingly, do not belch out any methane, and the meat tastes very good. But even better than that, you can look forward to your next cricket burger. Crickets, about 80% of that animal is edible, which is far, far more than, than a cow. They do not belch out any kind of methane. They can be easily raised. They are environmentally friendly. Uh, it's just that you have to kind of get over the yuck factor. But in the future, we may be eating cricket burgers. But for now, you know what? I think I will stick to the good old hamburger.